Okay, so it's a week since we bought our 1989 Nissan Sunny Estate, which obviously we're going to take to the Festival of the Unexceptional on July the 27th. Please like and subscribe to this channel to see the adventures of that. But today we are taking this car out of its comfort zone. We are going to a Japanese car meet. What they will make, make of this vehicle, they'll either laugh at it or cry or worst case scenario, ignore it. So come along for the ride and we'll see what they make of our 1989 Nissan Sunny Estate. We're Mike and Meyer. Welcome back to Old Cars New Van. So we're here, Great Northern Classics. It's a venue I've wanted to check out for a while actually. And we seem to be drawing a crowd of incredulity. <laughs> So yeah, this is the Victoria Ironworks foundry in Derby and it used to be the former Rolls-Royce Heritage Centre until that ceased to exist and then this company Great Northern Classics took it over and it's a massive site so they rent out workshops and retrimming centres and paintwork and all the rest of it. So we're going to have a wander around and see what we can see. Let's just check to the owner of this Honda Accord because he came over to have a chat on the Nissan. <laughs> it's the sunny. And this is an American spec one, which is quite interesting. So yeah, American spec, lovely colour. All sounds a bit JDM coming in with the superchargers and the rest of it, but we'll see how we get on. So yeah, well, I think these are their cars, but we'll go and have a little look. <laughs> That's a cool place. This Integra Type R is rather nice. <laughs> so yeah, I've been meaning to check this place out for a while, so it seemed a good excuse to come with a Japanese day, see what reaction we're getting to Jim and Mr. Sunny. But so far it's been very positive actually, people are intrigued. So we've just popped upstairs. What a great uh, collection. I'm loving this Scirocco Hill GTI, early one. It's pretty impressive. See the Cosworth. Very nice. And the Ferrari on the end. <laughs> what a great place. WM3 over there, very tasty. Yeah, really nice. And then the Audi Quattro on the end. Yeah, I do like these. So I dare say these are probably for sale. Um, I don't know. This Audi Quattro is amazing. So, so nice. So it's rather fun, we've had a couple of conversations about the, uh, the sunny. I think everybody's a bit gobsmacked as to what it is really. But we're going to go around the car park now and see what people have turned up in so far. So it's still quite early, so there may be some more arrivals. So yeah, full JDM sort of spec here. Immaculate under the bonnet. Now this belongs to one of the guys who actually works here. And as you can probably tell from his vehicle, uh, he's quite keen to get a sort of festival of the unexceptional style. Sorry about the noise in the background. Festival of the unexceptional style sort of little mini venue going here. So we wait to uh, to hear about that. Japanese cars in general is the criteria. So quite a mix. I'm interested to go and see that Stratos up there. Goodness me, that is something, isn't it? It's an extraordinary looking thing. 
the huge wheels. So yeah, very very cool to see. Plenty of skylines today. Yeah, this skyline's very impressive. I think this skyline's been at the Great British Car Journey. I think I've seen it before. Good to see. I mean, it's not, but it's a real. I mean, it's never been installed. So this is, you know, so there are a few. Yeah. And then under here, I need to get up here. I have been looking. But I want to replace this. I mean, it's not a show queenie under here, but I need straight from imagination. But you know, there's no rot on the, on the suspension tops or, or the bolt. So yeah, JDM. Very modded sort of street racer spec. This and Z car. So, pretty modified MR2, which is really cool to see. In fact, there's quite a few MR2. In fact, there's a club here of MR2s. So, the early shape and the 90s shape. I think we've seen this one before actually. It's very bright, it's lovely. Work in progress, which is good to see. Or leaving it as is, which is also good to see. Um, yeah, many, many, many MR2s. Oh, look at this thing, this little Honda, how cute is that? That's hysterical. So yeah, Japanese domestic market, N-Box, Honda N-Box. You can see why they called it a box. I think it's great. Or Honda in a box. Okay, car, for sale. Uh, the details if anyone's interested. Another yeah. S2000 and uh, Integra Type R, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great interior. It's domestic market uh, stuff there, very modified. No X and an Impreza. So yeah, it's more just a sort of cars and coffee, this. But as I say, I've been wanting to check out this place for a while, great northern classics. So I'm particularly given the his history of the building in the old Rolls-Royce collection centre, heritage centre, should we say. It's really cool. So obviously harking back to its Rolls-Royce heritage, there's a Rolls-Royce aeroplane engine there in the corner. Yeah, all sorts of goodies. What an interesting place. Obviously this is a workshop area. But just coming back to this uh, Scirocco, I don't know if it's being picked up on camera, but that is absolutely beautiful. It is, um, that's a stunner. There's goodies everywhere. Can't get down to these, but I can see them from up here through the glass. Again, apologies, it's through the glass, but 
these are in the workshop area which you can't get to but yeah lots of goodies <laughs> view out of the uh, cafe window is as follows. An old Derby Corporation tram. These may be customers' cars in storage because they do offer secure storage here. But yeah, some great, uh, great examples. Gosh, that's a rare spot. Lotus Carlton. That's a beast, that is. Beautiful condition, worth an absolute fortune these days. These had a very bad boy reputation in the UK because I think at one point they could outrun the police helicopter. So you can imagine the uh, sort of people who were attracted to that as a concept. But an amazing piece of kit, I love it, it's just great. Beautiful color, I don't know if it looks black, but it isn't very 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 sort of dark green almost that looks black a couple of modded mx5s <laughs> fun wow look at this has pulled in that's fantastic oh, 240z and quite an old one as well um no beautiful absolutely love it yeah, that's a really cool one to finish on, I think. So, yeah, just a little cars and coffee, mate. Nothing particularly fancy, this. So we're going to uh, wrap it up here and make a move. But just to recap, great Northern Classics, Derby, if you're in the area, worth dropping in for a coffee. They've got very good coffee. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again very soon.